Hi there. Today we're going to talk about a very easy fertility case that I had. Um, this is Dr. Anna Delopo. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine, and I specialize in the most challenging fertility cases. And lately, or at least in the last few years, I've been posting a lot of the more challenging cases. Um, I've been in practice since 1999. It is 2023, Mar May three, almost May four. May the fourth be with you. Um, I thought I'd talk about a very easy case today. You can check out my work at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. And um, I don't foresee myself doing another very long fertility newsletter this year because I gave the mother of all mother, uh, mother of all fertility newsletters recently, I think in February or March. And if you go to elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com slash 2023-baby-newsletter, check that newsletter out and you'll see that there's a lot of my work there, especially regarding some of the most, some of the most difficult cases that I've been fortunate to work with and make natural babies, the majority of them, and some of them IVF um, or IUI. So this is a natural fertility case that I want to talk about. Uh, again, the website is elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com and this video will be posted there. Um, this woman at the time was 34 years old when I helped her get pregnant. And I'm sharing this because not every case is a challenging case. And what I want to share with young ladies is, you know, I've been helping mommies, women become mommies, men become daddies since 1999. And I hear this a lot. We're going to try later. We're going to live our life and try later. And that can really bite you in the butt later. Um, this is going to be my 21st year to be married coming October. Um, we were fortunate to conceive our children naturally when we were 29. I gave birth at 30, again at 36, and a surprise baby at 43. I don't like that word try. Uh, in all of my cases, I don't, I've never had mommies check their uh, basal temperature. Um, I'm a big advocate and I show scientific proof, research, evidence that um, I, I don't have mommies and daddies only having sex during ovulation. Uh, that's a huge no-no. Uh, my mommies are urged to not check their ovulation and mommies and daddies are urged to have sex two to three times a week and only when it's good sex and not when it's um, tired. You know, I've done, a, I've done well over a hundred women's health videos. At least 75% of them are on fertility and the majority of them are on natural fertility. The oldest mommy that I've had is 50. Um, the majority of the mommies that I've had are in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. The majority of them being natural uh, conception. So if your goal is natural conception, um, I strongly recommend you consider some of my advice. I share my birth story or my conception stories because we never tried. I've been receiving acupuncture since I was 20, acupuncture and herbs. I'm currently 49 years old. And so I believe receiving acupuncture, doing Qigong, taking herbs consistently, for the last 29 years has done me a tremendous benefit. And I'm asking you to consider doing some of the things that I suggest, such as not waiting and not using the word try. And, you know, there's a whole protocol I have here, mommy and daddy, qigong, writing, um, date nights, lingerie, uh, doing things that turn your husband on, doing things that turn your wife on. Obviously, I'm talking about heterosexual com uh, couples because we're talking about in this case that I'm about to present. And in the majority of the cases, we're talking about uh, natural conception, being a man 
having sex with a woman and conceiving naturally. Now, I have my protocols for IUI and I have my protocols for IVF. This, in this video, we're really gonna be talking about natural conception. So, mommy received, she came in um, initially for neck pain and she, this woman responded very well. She's a nurse and she works a day job. Her job is not in a hospital. She works in a clinical setting in a mall. It's very, it's extremely relaxed compared to, um, say, a nurse working in an ICU or an ER, a surgery, you know, surge nurse, um, you know, very high pace nursing job. She works in a more relaxed environment. I strongly recommend this for women in 20s and 30s and 40s if your desire is to conceive. Uh, watch my videos and you'll see, especially the more challenging cases like Miracle Baby Newsletter. Um, there's, uh, if you go to Elements in Harmony Acupuncture.com, you'll see that I've divided, this is my third website, you'll see that I've divided the testimonials in different sections. One section is specifically fertility, pregnancy, and birth. Not all of my cases since 1999 are on this website. So there's a Dreams Come True newsletter, a Path to Baby newsletter, Miracle Babies newsletter, 2022 Let's Make a Baby with Dr. DeLopo, 2023 Baby newsletter. There's I leave no stone unturned when it comes to fertility. So I wanted to talk about this case. I want to talk about this big case because this is really an example, a fine example of a woman who lives, you know, she's able to have her profession and she, um, I don't know how much she makes, but I'm going to assume it's probably less than say a nurse practitioner or um, a nurse working a very high pace, intense job at a hospital. There's a time and a place for that. If your goal is to grow your family, you might want to consider taking a job that allows you to have a life and your life does not revolve around your work. That's my humble opinion, both as a mommy and as, um, as a woman who works. I'm an entrepreneur. I have my two businesses. I teach acupuncturists around the world and I do this. And I've learned how to manage my priorities and still have, you know, fulfill my purpose in life and feel like I can be there for my children. It is a balancing act. This morning I woke up. We had Mayfair Day. Uh, I might include a picture in this video. If not, you'll see it on social media. My children had a Mayfair Day. We wear white. I'll be at that school for 25 years. And there's a maypole and everyone wears white and the kids um, do this ribbon dance around the pole. It's really fun. It's cute. And my oldest daughter, who will be 19 this Friday, Cinco de Mayo, she did it. She was at that school from kindergarten through eighth. She did uh, the May Fair, first grade through eighth grade. And then now my younger two, I have a freshman in college. She's about to finish. She's, I think, in her finals right now. And I have a sixth grader and I have a transitional kindergartner. That type of lifestyle doesn't just happen. M mommies, you ladies who want to be mommies, you really have to consider your lifestyle. Having a high paced job is really going to affect you in regards to creating a baby. I uh, did, um, let me see, a video that I basically broke down a video regarding medical doctors and working women. If you go to under fertility on my website, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, you'll see, oh, let's see, working women. And here's, it's elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com slash working dash women dash infertility. And I, it is a video that I did um, from, you know, reading from the New York Times 
and you'll see the link there. Um, I paid for that article and it was a friend of mine who was in her late 40s at the time and she hasn't become a mom and um, it's basically about the trials of women in medicine who have a hard time conceiving and it's basically um, it's based on this premise of women being so stressed out so something to really consider I remember having a mommy she said uh, she was a mom she is a mom and at the time she had one child and she was a lawyer and she probably think she still is a lawyer and she specifically chose a job as a lawyer at Wells Fargo and she works nine to five and she said I can make a lot more doing corporate law or you know some other um, l you know type of law but then I wouldn't be able to stay home with I wouldn't be able to spend time with my husband I wouldn't be able to have a life and she was she had the foresight of thinking about her lifestyle how is it going to be as mom and I know it's not fair and that's one of the short ends of the stick that we as women have in this world anywhere around the planet it's you know if you're a hard-working woman and I consider myself a hard-working woman but you have, really have to create that balance I can make, be making a whole lot more money if I didn't put my children first and I'm 49 and I did that a lot I mean, there were times when I worked seven days a week and I got home around one to four in the morning. I know what it's like to work hard, but when it's time to, you know, a year, two, three years before you really think, you know, I, I, I really honestly want to become a mom, then d change your lifestyle sooner than later. You don't want to be a certain age and say, okay, now I want to have a baby. I want this baby this year. It, life doesn't work that way. I had some friends who are nurses, and I remember they had the foresight to work, you know, school hours and, you know, as a school nurse, 8 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon, and they could be there for the kids. That's, that, the, you talk to many women. I remember with my first child, Angeline, the one who will be 19, she's 18, she'll be 19 in just a couple of days. I had friends who were CPAs, that's a four-day exam, and they gave up their life as a CPA. They gave up their life as lawyers. They gave, I have one of the dance moms. I'm a jujitsu mom, I'm a violin mom, and I'm a dance mom. And I'm a school mom. I don't homeschool my kids. They go to traditional, they go to a charter school. And one of the moms, you know, the husband's an anesthesiologist, and the mom is a part-time pediatrician. Um, or actually, she's not even working right now, or... or um, she's either part-time or she's not working and it's very part-time these are the sacrifices that we don't talk about you know I mean moms we talk about it but if you're quote-unquote trying to conceive I, I despise that term but if your goal is to become a mommy if you're working on becoming pregnant you have to look at what many women are doing already as mommies so something to consider um, that's the truth. So mommy was 34 at the time she received, she was coming in for neck pain and she responded very well. September, 2001 received one treatment. This woman responded to my treatments very well. I practice balance method acupuncture. I specialize in the most challenging cases. You want to come two to five times a week, those first two to six weeks, if you have severe pain. Um, she came in once in September 2022, and she had tremendous success. Once in August, once in July. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, no, no. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong dates. Four in November 2021, two in December, three in January, two in February. I remember in November 2021, she responded so quickly. And so she was already at maintenance for November, two in December, um, 2021 and three in January, two in February. I remember January, February, she said she wanted to start working on, she was newly married and she wanted to start working on conceiving. That's something that I really advocate. I don't advocate 
staying married for a whole length of time and this woman was already 34 and she was seeing a lot of women get pregnant and um, newly married I said do yourself a favor and don't become one of my fertility mommies you know just have sex to have fun not to get it done enjoy your husband spend time with him go on date nights every Thursday with my husband it's date night today's Wednesday tomorrow's Thursday it will be date night and date night could be hotel room date night could be you know going out to dinner I mean you really have to put forth effort I am happily married it you if you don't do date night every week your marriage will suffer I promise you because at times when my marriage didn't do well it was because we weren't dating once a week so she took my advice and March too had she had two treatments in March and that's when she told me and she just texted me on our first try to get pregnant they got pregnant and then um so four uh so four six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen total of 13 treatments to get pregnant and then there were 11 treatments for pregnancy you can see how easy this case is she had then four treatments for pregnancy care in april 2022 one in may three in june one in july one in august one in september what i want would i have wanted to treat her more frequently yes but this happened to be a young lady 34 years old and she's now 35 it is may 4 may 3 2023 and she followed my advice i said hey do it your way be very relaxed i loved her lifestyle already she did not seem stressed out she actually my my daughter actually did see her uh for um care um as a nurse and every time i saw her at work she was always relaxed never stressed out daddy is in finance for a car uh, company and he came in a total of four times um to january 2022 two times april one time august one time they were very relaxed people that is what i want to bring to the table today very relaxed very low-key i know that um i have this whole production when it comes to the most intense fertility cases those cases were not this young and this relaxed when i'm seeing someone who's working a very intense job and you've been trying you really both need to consider being very relaxed date nights working a normal job during the day not at night that will change the quality of your sleep it will change your health it'll change your periods and this is what I love my children understand my work as someone who specializes in very challenging cases I strongly recommend that you look at some of my most recent YouTube videos um, I'll recap one of my most favorite ones. There was a 5% chance to get pregnant. Mommy was over 40. Fertility specialist recommended donor eggs. Her AMH was a 0.16. It needed to be a 1 to a 4. It was 0.16. She had four failed IVFs and she had one fallopian tube. So she had not an easy case, not like this woman. That woman, the one that we're talking about now, is a nurse practitioner and her husband's a physician. And I said to them, what do you want me to do? Because, you know, this is not optimal circumstances. Four failed IVFs, it's not optimal circumstance. I asked for two to three years. And she got pregnant naturally with her own egg, her own daddy's sperm, in six months instead of two to three years. And if you, it's called 5% chance to get pregnant. If you go to uh, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, um, actually, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see, uh, so what is my YouTube channel videos? It is youtube.com slash at Anna Dolopo dash elements in harmony slash videos. And then if you just look down, scroll down, um, you'll see, or you'll see natural baby. I posted it three months ago. I posted this uh, 
three months ago. So today is May. So I posted this sometime around, I think, February. So I shared how much they spent. Less than 9000 That did not include um, the herbs. 8770 Mommy and Daddy both came. And you can look at that. That's very important. They were both over 40. 40 years old and over. Uh, mommy and Daddy. And they followed my protocol. The Qigong, the writing. She was on a different protocol. I will let people do whatever you want. But if you want it done now then follow the protocol, which is mommy and daddy, writing, qigong, you know, when you're young like this, 34 at the time, and your lifestyle is relaxed, I can tell not everyone's the same. Some people just have a lot more relaxed personality, and some people are so intense. And that the latter case, that was a very intense, high, highly structured lifestyle. CEO, nurse practitioner, two jobs, you know, very hard to take a vacation, you know, a lot more type A. This, the first case, not type A at all. So I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's longer than, you know, you probably didn't expect it to be long for an easy case, but it's very important that you consider your lifestyle. If you want to conceive, then be very gentle with yourself and have fun. It should be fun sex. It should not be, okay, it's the 14th of, you know, my 14th day, let's just have sex. And, you know, daddies, you know, it's not fun. And I've shared in videos that I've had men, you know, cry here or share their distress or their disappointment that they feel like a tool, that it's not fun. So, we're going to out of the county tomorrow and when we leave you know my husband and i will have our own room so i always say this to couples you guys gotta have fun and hotel sex is a lot different than being at home sex it brings on a whole different dynamic and it bonds you as a couple you should be buying lingerie you should be wearing heels. If you are my patient here, my client for fertility, you know, I've told you, I've advised you that one of your assignments is to open the door, wearing lingerie and heels and surprising your husband where he sees that you're wearing nothing but heels or nothing but lingerie and heels. You got to spice it up. Um... There's information on my website on sperm, sperm motility, what turns women on, what turns men on. I mean, we're doing this the way God or whatever you believe intended. So why don't you have some fun doing this as opposed to it being so, you know, monotonous and okay, it's time to have sex. Um, you know, I, it's, you're not cultivating a relationship. You're not called, you know, you're making the baby out of you know, or in a robotic way, as opposed to having fun. So the takeaways from this video should be, don't wait, start having sex, have fun. If you get pregnant before you expect it, trust me, that'll be the blessing that you really want. I, even if you didn't expect, I didn't expect to have a baby at 43, but look at this picture. You know, my husband's so happy and the vacations will come, but the longer you wait, you know, I hate using that term, your biological clock, but don't race with time. Have a lot of fun and let it happen. I had a, I have a friend, um, I trained kickboxing with her at the time and she was 37 and she said, I'm getting married this, this year. I was so excited for her. And she said, we're going to, I said, oh, you know, and I, I don't ask people if they're going to get me, you know, have a baby. Um, because just because of my profession, I'm sensitive to that question. And she said, and then we're going to wait. She told me we're going to get married and then we're going to wait till we're ready to have kids. And I, I looked at her and I said, you know, that's my specialty, right? She said, really? I said, don't wait. You're 37. You're over 35. Don't do that. I said, I'll just leave it at that. 
if you want to spend a lot of money later to try, try to get pregnant, then, you know, do that. But I strongly recommend you just have sex and have fun. Get married and have sex and have fun. So I remember that was the beginning of the year, um, I, th I want to say one or two years ago. And then, uh, that, two years ago. And then, um, maybe it was three years ago. Because two years ago, August, I went to a bridal shower. And she happened to be there. And we'll call her F. And F tells me, Anna, I'm pregnant. And I was like, good, congratulations. You know, I'm not Dr. DeLopo to her. I'm her friend. I train you know, martial arts with her. And, um, she said, it's because of you. And I said, you're not my patient. You know, what do you mean? It's because of me. She said, because you told me not to wait. I said, I did. She goes, don't you remember we were in class and I was punching the bag. And then, you know, I hope I didn't give some, I do my best to not give unsolicited advice, but, um, she took it and she was so happy and she didn't tell the bride you know, because it was her day, but she said, don't say anything. I just wanted you to know because, you know, I mean, she was so excited. And, uh, this year I saw her, you know, she's a new mom and she was with a stroller and I said, oh, that's my baby. She goes, yeah, this is your baby. So ladies and gentlemen, don't wait, just get married. And if it happens, it happens. It's never going to be perfect. You're never going to have all the money, you know, maybe you will, but don't wait till you have all the money that you think you need. Don't wait till you have the perfect house, the perfect car, the perfect SUV, the perfect van, all that will come in place. You know, at the time when we picked up Angelin, I was 30. I looked like I was 16. I mean, people tell me, and I believe them, they tell me, you don't look 49. Well, I don't feel 49, you know, we did the Mayfair today, and then we had lunch. I dropped off my daughter. She did not go to jiu-jitsu today because she has a big dance competition this weekend, so I let her do all her packing tonight. And so I took my four-year-old, my five-year-old, and we took class, and I assist in the baby jiu-jitsu class. And since I'm not here this weekend, I'm here at the office, and I thought I'd do this video. So, you know, the reason why I share that is you... You know, you divide your time as a mom. And so as a woman and a man who want to get pregnant, really consider slowing down. Slow down. It's okay. The money will come. Oh, that's what I was saying. So my, when I was nine, uh, 30 years old, we gave birth to Thomas. Sorry, I, I went off on a tangent. We gave birth to not Angelin. I wasn't fully packed. We were there in the hospital longer than we expected. I had a doula. She, she's now this amazing uh, midwife, Lindsay Milis. Check her out on Instagram. She's got 85,000, I don't know, something followers. And my husband brought extra clothes for me. And it was this black Jesus is your homeboy shirt. And I was wearing, this is what he packed for me because I didn't have enough clothes. That was a black shirt. Jesus is your homeboy. And then these turquoise sweatpants and brown Ugg slippers. And we look like we were not expecting to get pregnant. We look like teenagers. And he has, we still have this 2001 Acura Integra. I think it's a GSR. It's a stick shift. We still have it. It's 2023. This car is a 2001 Acura Integra. It's we still have it because it's a manual. We love the car. We went home in that car with our baby, two-door Acura Integra, four-seater, but um, we didn't have the right baby seat. It was, a, it, was, it was like a car seat for an older child, like a toddler, not an infant. That's how unprepared we were. And we had pretty decent, we had enough money. We could have bought the right uh, car seat but we our baby went home with her neck like this not fully supported and we went to his dermatologist appointment instead of going straight home and we were in apartments you know it's we didn't and then we got the suv 
and then later we got a van and then we had a second van and then now we drive you know um nice nicer cars so and now we you know we didn't buy our house till 2015 our third child came in 2017 so we got married in 2002 and you know things just came along the way but you'll you'll what i want you to understand is stuff comes but getting pregnant that doesn't happen always on people's time frames i recommend going with your biological rhythm and the way mother nature intended for you to conceive and if you are one of my older mommies know that it took work for me to get pregnant even though it was natural conception surprise at age 43 i still did acupuncture almost every day i still take herbs almost every day you know it's i i thought about it when i was doing the drills in baby jiu-jitsu you know we're doing duck walks and hopping and I'm using my knees, I'm using my hips, and I'm pain-free. That's not an accident. It is work to have a functioning body. So that's my advice. This is obviously very much for younger ladies and gentlemen. Please understand Mayo Clinic and the National Institutes of Health state that infertility cases are a third of the woman, a third because of the man, and a third because of both. And so I strongly recommend you check out some of my fertility videos from the past that I've done and some of the testimonials and see what we've had to do to achieve pregnancy, full-term pregnancy and live healthy baby. All right? All right. Check out my work, Elements in Harmony, acupuncture.com. I really appreciate you being here for 32 minutes. Enjoy your night. Take care.